She hasn't had a stroke. She is fine. But I do just think it's best we wait for the doctor before going into the matter. The matter? Very mysterious. Has she killed someone? Nice to see you again. Well, can someone please just tell us what's going on? Uh, at around 7pm last night, one of the carers found your mother in bed with another one of the residents, Mary. We are extremely regretful this was allowed to happen. Your mother and Mary had both had their dinners and were... Oh, sorry, Mary is a woman? Yes. Right. Mary was in Mum's bed with Mum. In fact, your mother was in Mary's bed. They were... They had both partially removed their nightgown and were embracing. Whilst we were aware there was a closeness between the women, Mary and your mother, we weren't aware of the full extent of their relationship. How long has this been going on? Well, they've been good friends for a while, uh, especially since Mary's husband passed and she moved down to level one. They're always together at the TV for Millionaire Hot Seat. But this is the first time that... Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Do you know if your mother's had relationships with the women during her life? No. She and her father were married. Of course. Did your mother have a friend named Bibi? Bibi? Um, no, I don't think so. Bibi. She was one of our nannies. I don't remember a Bibi. Well, you would have been a baby. As we've discussed previously, Lillian's Alzheimer's is causing a degeneration of the prefrontal cortex. As well as the usual short-term memory loss, another symptom can be a change in sexual desire. Either a reduced or increased interest. In your mother's case, there seems to be a definite increase. This part of the brain also moderates social behaviour and self-control. With its degeneration, there can be what we call disinhibition. There's still a lot we don't know, but it's possible that certain behaviours or desires that have been suppressed for a long time are able to surface. These desires can often be traced back to our young adult years. And what does this have to do with Bibi? Your mother was calling Mary the other resident Bibi. We have spoken to Mary's family and they do not want Mary in the same facility as Lillian. Did she hurt her? Uh, I examined them both this morning and they're fine. But we have to take all appropriate measures so this never happens again. Why? Don't be ridiculous. She, she could break a hip or something. Exactly. Or have a heart attack. There's also the risk of sexually transmitted diseases. Oh, come on. Surely they're just having a harmless fondle. Stuart! Well, surely a bit of intimacy can't be all bad. I mean, that's right, actually. There are some benefits, both psychological But and... your mother's health is not the only consideration here. There are many factors at play. And we think the only solution is to transfer Lillian to another home. Our, our Fairview Manor is just as lovely and, fortunately, it looks like a room's available very soon. We like it here. Mum likes it here. If Mary's family's so upset, why can't she buzz off? As your mother seems to be taking the more active role, we think it's the fairer option. Fairer option? <laughs> According to you. Mary's family believe that Lillian is acting without Mary's consent. They don't want to press charges. Oh, don't be stupid. Press charges. This is a very serious matter. You just said that what they're doing is healthy. Now you're making her out to be a criminal. I'm doing no such thing, but I have a duty of care for everyone in this institution. This incident has caused an enormous amount of distress, not only for the residents, but also my staff. Your staff? They think Mum's a lesbian. Personally, I have no problem with it. But we have staff that come from many different backgrounds... This is outrageous. It sounds like you're punishing her. I'm not punishing anyone. I am simply trying to manage what is an untenable situation.
Hi, Mum. Who's that? It's me. It's you. I'm here too, Mum. Who? Oh, hello. Nice doll, Mum. What? I said nice doll. Oh, yes. Isn't she lovely? Bibi gave her to me. We hear Bibi's your new girlfriend, Mum. I love Bibi. Okay. That's nice. Mum, are you a lesbian? Stu. What? I can ask her. Mum? The bingo man came and I won. Twice. That's nice, Mum. The others are hopeless. Just because she gets into bed with another woman does not make her a lesbian all of a sudden. It's not bedtime yet. That's right, Mum. Do you actually remember this baby woman? Not much. She can't have been with us for very long. Mum, did you have an affair with our nanny? Stu, don't. Mum? I bet Dad kicked Baby out because he found Mum sleeping with her. Stop. What does it matter anyway? What does it matter? Don't you want to know? Aren't you curious? I'm more concerned with the situation at hand than I am with a secret lesbian affair of the past. The situation at hand being her open lesbian affair of the present. Henry gets home at six. He gets home at six. So we've got an hour. Oh my God. Mum. Mum, are you talking to... Mum! Go away! Shit. Sorry, uh, sorry, Mum. Uh, uh, uh. Mum. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Hello, AD. Hi, Mum. The bingo man came and I won twice. Oh. The others are hopeless. <laughs> Mum, do you like it here? Oh. Yes. And they treat you well? Yes. And you have friends here? I do. Like Bibi? Oh, my darling Bibi. Mum. They're going to transfer you to another home because you were in bed with Bibi. Hold on. We have to tell her. Nothing's been decided yet. I can't believe you're willing to let that happen. Mum just said she's happy here. I can't believe you're so invested in having her continue a lesbian love affair. I think... I think it's nice. She's not in love, Stuart. Her mind is scrambled. Who cares? I care. She can hardly recognise her own daughter, let alone fall in love. I don't want to transfer it either, but... But what? I don't want our mother to die in bed with another woman. I don't know what I do. Did you? She can be the only inconsistent person in the dying world of old people. It's D, my way. It's Bibi, Strangers in the Night.